Welcome to the southernmost point of Ireland. Over the next seven days, we will be exploring the majestic island of Ireland, and more specifically, its dramatic southwest coast. Our adventure starts in West Cork, which may possibly be our favorite region of Ireland thus far, due to its emotive nature, scenery, friendly locals, and few crowds. Part one of this adventure starts right here. Before we start our Irish adventure, can I just share with you this is the view we woke up to this morning. I wish we had more days. We only have two nights here. I was saying to Maria last night how I don't like arriving places at night, especially when it's so remote. But then on the flip side of that, I do love waking up and seeing the view and just exploring it for the first time after you've already been there. This was really nice to wake up and see this amazing, peaceful, beautiful environment. Let's go. This is the tiny road we had to come up last night. Look how beautiful this is. Oh, stunning. The landscape is so beautiful. The ocean on one side, the, like all the green, and then you have like these kind of mountainous, hilly areas over here, which actually kind of reminds me of the islands. Like even the parking lot is so beautiful. Look at this. I'm very happy, I'm just going to keep saying that. I'm really hungry though and I want coffee. We are in the town, I don't know if it's a town or a village, of uh, Shul. Everything's so cutely presented. It's a nice atmosphere. Oh. Smells good to me. Thanks. Sweet and spicy. <laughs> A beautiful spot. I feel like pretty much from every angle, everything is just really stunning. The natural beauty, I can't even put into words. Like even like these rock formations on the water, it's so unique. One of the first sightseeing attractions here in the Maizen Peninsula is this altar. It's actually one of a few dozen here in the area. The altar was originally built and used for people to honor their ancestors and when Christianity arrived in the country and especially the area, the altar stopped being used. Paleolithic and Neolithic stuff like this really, really fascinates me because it's so hard to even imagine what life was back there and we get a little glimpse by seeing these things. So this is over 4,000 years old. They're saying it's dated somewhere between 3000 BC and 2000 BC, which is just... Well, we read on the sign and it's really interesting. It's entrance on the other side of me. It's actually lined up perfectly with the tip of the Maizen Peninsula. And I think Olivia knows a little more so she can share it with us. So archaeologists did a recent excavation of the area and they found human remains and bones dating back to 2000 BC, which bouncing off of what Maria said, I love how thought-provoking these places are. Even though it's not the most pleasant to be outside when the weather's like this windy and rainy, it's just so enjoyable being in the car and driving through the beautiful scenery, listening to traditional Irish folk music. Irish folk music must be some of like the best music. It's just like so moving, like the words are so poetic a lot of times, it's just we love Irish folk music, and I think that's gonna be the only music we <laughs> listen to the entire six days we're here driving around. It definitely adds to the scenery. So we have come to the town. I think it's a town, I don't think it's a village. The town of Bantry. 
which is probably like half an hour from where we're staying. We are here for lunch and to find hopefully a good raincoat. We'll keep you up <laughs> So cute here. It's even better, like it does, like pictures don't really do it justice. Every town kind of looks the same, and we got here and we're like, wow, this is amazing. I just gotta say how nice everyone is here. Literally, a big truck stopped in the middle of traffic for me to continue taking my video. It's so nice, yeah. And then they won. Everyone is so friendly. I've I don't think I've encountered this many friendly people in a row. I know. Anywhere. I know. And cheery. I mean, can you blame them? Look how beautiful this is. After exploring the town some more, we ran into a town sign that confirmed our observations. Bantry and West Cork in general is considered to have some of the most friendly, helpful, outgoing and welcoming people in Ireland. It's recognized as one of the last bastions of true Irish hospitality. The sign is definitely not exaggerating. In fact, we loved our time in West Cork so much that we considered it as one of the candidates of our future home base. We don't usually buy books when we travel, but we got this book right here that I think is gonna help us out a lot in making the videos here in Ireland. We're very committed to actually giving you the correct information in our videos, historical, and a lot of times when you read stuff online, it can get mixed up, but a book like this will give us good information. Just look at that background, and I love the colors of the houses. It really adds, like, Everything just feels vibrant. So as well, Olivia found this place, it actually smells amazing. Hopefully they're open for lunch because the times don't align with what we see. Is it here? Well, it says it's closed. The restaurant's closed, but they told us to go check downstairs. They might have some stuff in the cafe section. They had like a few toasties left, but we're really hungry. I want something a bit more. A bit more. Uh, no luck. Uh, so it seems like most places stop serving lunch and then they open again for dinner. Instead of waiting around another like 45 minutes, we are going to go back into the town where we had our breakfast this morning in Skull. So I'll let the beautiful drive begin. This restaurant's supposed to be really good. I'm very ready to have a hot meal. We started off with a few starters and then we're waiting for a pizza. I know it's not very Irish, but if it's a big thing on the menu, it's probably pretty good. I want to try the fish pie first. It's one of my favorite foods. I think there's like crispy pieces of potato and cheese on top. Carrot, some different types of fish. That fish pie is really good. It it tastes very fresh and very homemade. We also got a seafood chowder, which I see mussels, cream, carrots, a bunch of different fish. I think it's really big here in West Cork, seafood chowder of different kinds. It's really, really good. It tastes very fresh and homemade, and it's so nice having some warm soup. And we also got pili prawns, which I don't think it's Irish, but it seems pretty big here because they have it on the pizza and stuff. So from what I understand, it's an African spice sauce. Um, it looks and smells really good. I'm gonna try to get some juice. It's not as spicy as I thought it would be, so that's really nice. I feel like I'm eating like some kind of like Mexican food because I guess it does have lime in there in the sauce. It's really, really good. I'm excited to try the rest and the pizza. It smells really good. to Mizzen Head at the parking lot and the views were just getting better and better and better as we got closer. And now it's just like we're on top of the peninsula and it's just so beautiful and I'm so excited to go through. And I'm not sure if like you have to pay to go in or if you pay just for the visitor center, but we'll find out, let's go. Let's do it. 
Oh, whale watch over here. Oh, they see, there's killer whales. But sporadic, because they, they stay like. So I think we do have to go in and pay the tickets. Yeah. You can bring dogs here too. This room is about the lighthouse because it has also like a signaling thing. I saw something the other day about the Lusitania and I remember learning about it in high school and how it was a ship that was sunk by German U-boats and it was one of the things that started World War I when the ship was sunk by the U-boat and like the southwest coast of Ireland. A lot of the debris was found as far as Minton had. Maria's favorite thing is a bridge. Let's go cross the <laughs> It looks like a sturdy bridge, so I'm sure I'm gonna be fine. The bridge was built in 1908, then it was demolished and rebuilt in 2009. Whoa. Wow. Just wow. like everywhere you look, the view is just amazing. Yeah, yeah we'll this way, we'll this walk. way, this way, down, left, up. We're <laughs> like, what? You walk a little further and you're like. It's like something out of like a movie. Doesn't feel real. This is like wow. something from like Jurassic Park. Is it just me or like, do you feel like crying too? It's so I beautiful. I feel like I've come to life. This is one of the most beautiful yeah. sceneries I've, I've ever seen. experienced yeah. in my life. Like I didn't think for Ireland it could have gotten better than Cliffs of Moher. Yeah, but I actually think this is better, yeah. This is so much better. And it's probably not even known about, I didn't know about it until I was looking up things to do in the area. I think it's because like so many people know about the Cliffs of Moher and it's like... Well known it's... international tourist. Yeah. Asked me. This was the Lightkeeper's Quarters from 1909 to 1993. Wow, just imagine living here. I know, I find like that, like any movie in that kind of situation, I find so fascinating. Yeah, I don't know if I would be brave enough to yeah. live like that in the older days. Now it's so easy, you just get on a car, hike a little bit, get on a car and you're good, but. Yeah. And you're very remote. In 1909, that was probably so remote. You never leave. Whoa, what? <laughs> oh, it stinks though. Oh, it's fake. Oh my God, Maria, I just got really scared. What? Oh my God, I came in, I'm like, oh, what a nice view to wake up in the morning and then I saw someone in bed. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, I feel like I left my body. More space than I would have imagined. Yeah. Oh, there's another person. Having his black pudding. Bacon, tomato. They look like kind of real, so it's I know, like... that's why it scared me so much. I don't know if this is the lighthouse. I'm a bit confused. No, this isn't the lighthouse. This is because I think some lighthouse with the light keeper lived was in the lighthouse. This is separate. The actual lighthouse is about nine miles southeast from here. <laughs> Hi 
How do you feel being the southernmost tip of Ireland? It's amazing! What were you reading? The seafarers in the past? It's either the first or the last point of Ireland they would see. And Europe. We've been hanging out here for the last like 10, 15 minutes and we just don't want to leave. The sense of peace and looking out in nature. The fresh air, it's not too cold so it's still enjoyable. And unfortunately we didn't spot any whales, but I gotta say that was one of the scariest drone flying experiences ever. I mean even the birds are struggling to fly. We made it at the very top of the Meisenhead cliff. Wow. Ready? No. We have a full day. No, I don't want to leave. So and so this, many more nice and this place does not open until 10.30, so we, ha we got up really early, yeah. right to start the day. But everything opens kind of late, so like we couldn't have breakfast until 9.30. I feel being in places like this where it literally looks like something out of a book, a movie, it's just a really good reminder that like how lucky we are to be doing this and seeing so many beautiful places that are so captivating yeah. and like emotional and so powerful and beautiful and that we get to do it together. We're very blessed and thankful that we get this opportunity that we know most people don't have. And don't get me wrong, it has a lot of ups and downs, but it's totally worth it. And, um, yeah. and we hope that we can inspire you and we can make it as like accurate as possible to what we're seeing. We do our best to show you a place as well as we can, but a camera is never gonna capture what your eyes can. Yeah and the energy that you feel in a place and just like the other senses that are, are involved with these kind of places specifically. So when, what you see on camera times it another <laughs> 10, 20 times and that's how amazing yeah. it is. Just like I, I've done a lot of the planning of this trip and I've kind of shown Maria a few pictures and it's just like it's nice and then she's come everywhere and just been like wow. I'm not leaving. So now we are going to go to the second part of our trip. We are going to head north to come to Cary and explore another beautiful region that I'm so excited to explore. Can it get better than this? I don't know. <laughs> like I, after experiencing uh, West Cork, I, I don't know how much better it can get than this, but let's see. Before you go, make sure you have liked this video if you liked it and subscribe to the channel if you want to watch more of our videos. If you're not planning on watching more of our videos, don't worry about it, don't subscribe.